Uh, so welcome guys at the Helicon booth 2019. I'll take you along from something new this year. It's a small chest rig that came out. It's a competition multi-rig. As you can see, it's a, a very small little chest rig, but it's a, like a versatile and compatible uh, system. So what you see is only the chassis with nothing on it yet, but this can open. And as you can see, it has Velcro, the hook and the loop, loop side yeah. on the boat sides. So for example, you take the triple carbine insert, put it in there, the Velcro's in, you got Max for 556, 308, AK, um, or just a pistol max, like three sets of pistol max, you can do whatever you want. When we go into front of the chest rig, you see um, two multi-purpose pouches with also hook and loop in the, in the interior here. So you can put shot timers, whatever you like, a uh, small book or something. Those two pistol pouches or for Letterman or, or, or even uh, flashlights, sky's the limit. Now, what's nice about these two pouches is when you put this insert in it, it velcros in like this, you have two additional um, pistol, pistol magazines. You can cover it up so they don't um, get damaged or when you fold this in, fold it in like this it also has hook and loop so now when you insert it's open open carry you see it's a dangler pouch for uh, under the chest rig if you say okay I'm gonna insert three um, five five six max but it's not enough for my training you can add these two at the back side of the chest rig you see it's hook and loop all the way around. So the hook and loop against here. Now you have five max, five, five, six. So that's that. You can organize it the way you want to set up your training as you'd like. And tell us about the, this product over here. This product? It's like a covered, uh, yeah. covered stuff or? It was a training rig that came out last year. It's the, the training, the mini rig. But actually, everything is fixed, yeah? The only thing that's new this year is the color schemes. The melange blue, like this one, it looks like a, a jeans star, yeah? But it, it really is for casual training at the range. Don't have to wear camouflage all the time. You just want to relax at the range, have some shots. In the middle, you have this general purpose pouch. An admin pouch, if you will. Some plastic loops, some pockets here, a mesh pocket with a zipper for pens or whatever. Four pistol mag pouches, or for your Leatherman or, or flashlight. And the back side as well, the same as on that rig, the same opening for your inserts. You can take them out, close them up, whatever you want. The dangler from the, on the bottom is molly attached, like this. Usually guys use this as a, a medical pouch, so when you insert it, you see there's a hook and loop in the middle. So with our versatile insert systems, you can attach whatever uh, gear you want or whatever pouches you want, maybe. Compatible with these? You mean, the back, it's not, no, it's, uh, it's just, uh, yeah, it's fixed, like this. So this is actually made, not for active, active duty, but it can be used for it, but it's not designed the way... For the weekend shooter. Yeah, it's designed for the weekend shooter. Yeah. So, anything else, or this is just... Well, we have this, uh, this, those new shirts. You've seen them before? Yeah, the new lineup. Of the new lineup of shirts, yeah. So this is our MBDU flannel shirt. Actually, the, uh, the setup and the uh, design of the shirt is actually quite the same. 
or similar to the MBDU uniform. But it's a, of course another fabric and another color. So, but they took the design of the MBDU uh, uniform jacket and they created uh, a flannel shirt that blends in. Yeah, sure, there are going to be more colors available, like blue and gray. That's a really nice color as well. So what's nice about this shirt is the, is the versa stretch in the, in the, on the sides here. So it's stretch material. And in the armpits, you've got some mesh for ventilation. You can attach your patches. You have a, a little pocket here with a zipper. And then on the front, you have some zipper pockets as well, like this. So is Helicontex really moving for more urban style gear and direct action for uh, duty? Is that the idea or...? No, I guess the idea is um, to the different lines that they have, they try to excel in each line. So when we have the urban line, they're trying to excel in urban clothing in the gear that they already have and in more, adding more colors. Um, or blend in like colors. So, um, so anything else? Uh, yeah, the gentleman shirt, the one I'm oh wearing yeah. right now. It's a very nice, nice uh, fabric. It's uh, the gentleman shirt because it's a little classier. You can tell. It has also the, uh, the zipper pockets here, but it also has a, a small Velcro uh, uh, pocket as well. So it was very light. It's very not too hot, really. The other one, Defender MK2. You have to feel this. It's really a, a ultra light fabric. See, same pocket setup as the other one. A loop for your glasses. But if you look here, through here, you will notice the um, the holes in the fabric. It's a new way of. Uh, yeah, it's 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 actually. It looks like a shirt, but it's all mesh so and for the, breathability. It's, it's uh, this Aerotech. Yeah, uh, it's a new way of. Uh, right. yeah. Really nice. Okay. So very light for so warmer weather. Anything else, or that's about it for 2019? No, there's uh, a, lot a lot more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's the other uh, shirt that they have. It's the Defender City shirt. It's a, a little bit more urban, urban uh, feel to it. So the same pocket setup as that one before. It's just another fabric, stretchy material. So it stretches a lot, which is nice and comes up in uh, different color schemes as well. This is the uh, this is ultra lightweight tropical shirt for extreme hot conditions. It's a really uh, you, you have to feel it to believe it. <laughs> and then the last one, the pilgrim shirt, more of our bu for our uh, bush, bush bushcraft or woodcrafter. It's a bit thicker, flannel stuff. So same pocket design as uh, as the others. So that's that. Uh, let me take you to uh, the new color schemes, like that one, the melange blue. We also got. Our back range, our EDC pack, our wombats, the possum, the bandicoot, they also come in the melange gray, the dark gray, like this, and then a lighter gray, like this. So those new colors will be coming out as well. Then, uh, what do we got, what do we got? The downtown pack, also new. What's real nice about this is that it blends in really easily it looks like a normal backpack you don't it don't doesn't scream tactical um, but what's nice about this is it's not set up like that now but anyway you can set it up to where this buttons are here close this up and when you're wearing it and you just sling it across you, pull this open, and you can access a firearm. 
okay, now the firearm is set up for our left handed, but, but you know the drill. This whole panel zips open, and you can attach whatever you want to it. Okay. With our versatile insert CCW system. CCW and CCW, uh, yeah. Okay, style, nice. Otherwise, it's a normal. Otherwise, it's a, a normal looking backpack. Store a computer no molly, no pa no patches or Velcro. Actually, we do, but it's a little hidden. We have this little strap of Velcro. So if you want to attach something, you can, see? Another feature of this bag is that not only can it help you conceal your weapon, it's also um, possible to use it as a shield. When it's on your back or even in front of you, if you have your gun out, you can use it as a shield. Because when you open it up, it's also Velcro interior, so you can attach whatever you want. But in this sleeve, you can add ballistic. a ballistic plate, yeah. yeah. So, some bags are designed to carry armor, but you have to custom made a panel for the, for the bag, not with this one. And a panel can, can fit right in there. So it can, you, can be used as a shield as well. The, um, the buckles have a quick release, so when you have both shoulder straps on, and you have to access your gun, you can simply check it away, rotate, get the firearm out. See? Don't have to get out of it like that. So that's really nice. Afterwards, you just put it back together. Like that. So, any more questions, guys? No, I think that's about it. Thank you yeah? so much for having No problem, us. no okay. problem. Thank you. Okay, see you next time. Okay. Time. okay. Take care.